So the winds came in a couple hours ago and now we're dragging anchor. We're in 138 feet of water right now. We're dragging out to sea, which is good. It's better than on shore, obviously. Um, winds are blowing like 25 right now. But we blew off from there. So, time to get the show on the road. Somebody's worried about James outside dealing with an anchor. happened in the morning. Okay, got the chaos in order and it's time to raise the anchor. We're well offshore. Camille's at the helm driving us into the wind. Now I'm about to get the snubber broke loose and uh, on deck and then just slow start the slow process of raising everything up. Anchor's up, mains up, reefed. We're gonna motor into the wind and find another anchorage. And uh, yeah, new experiences. It's blowing like a steady 20 right now. Gusts to 25. Basically, I'm trying to motor us up into the lee of the um, island to break some of that wind so we can make some ground. And we might just anchor here at Button Shell and just see if this thing blows over. Um, at least Button Shell also gives us the uh, benefit of like if for whatever reason we drug anchor again we would blow out to sea and there's no lee shore we could go to cabrillo but cabrillo you kind of need um especially if anyone's there you need a stern anchor too and we're definitely not going to deploy that in this sort of wind so i think we're going to check out button shell we'll see what the beach looks like because we have to take the dog ashore at some point sailing it's fun so we are re-anchored back where we started over at White's. Um, button shell was like too close to the moorings and stuff and the winds were blowing like 22 when we were trying to anchor there. Um, here we are. And I figured out <clears throat> what went wrong. Um, we, uh, I'm not used to this new marking system with our road and I only had out like three scope on our road. So we're lucky it didn't drag in the middle of the night. Um, but yeah, that's what this whole trip's about is like dialing in all the new systems. But uh, now the wind's down to like six knots, eight knots. So, and it's supposed to get calmer and calmer. We're also in the lee of this mountain. so that helps <clears throat> but yeah eventful way to start the morning now it's time to try to actually start the morning 
drink some coffee and um, figure how to get this dog ashore through these brakes. <laughs> <clears throat> Had a nice little hike. It's blowing like crazy up top. Um, it's also blowing down here. It is blowing down windy. here for sure. <laughs> now we gotta like time this surf and get back to the boat without getting drenched or flipped. That's the goal right now. Um, at least the wind's behind us. All right, let's do it. Steady sitting on the couch, on the settee, eating on the floor. What do we have in for dinner? Um, this weird Nordic grain. That's weird. <laughs> I was at Ikea. And they had these like Nordic grain packages and I was like, oh, those look like boat food. They're in a small package that looks easy to pack and they actually turn out to be kind of good. Um, so that, it's rye, wheat, barley, and something else, oats maybe. Um, and then on top of it we've got collards, no, mustard greens sauteed with mushrooms and sweet peas and garlic and onion and egg and parmesan on top. Yum. And what are you drinking? I have a surf bird from Gunnel in Costa Mesa. Nice. Daddy got the job done? Nice. Uh, the wind's been blowing 20 since we got back to the boat from being ashore. Like 18 to 20 steady. We've been, we just hit 25 a minute ago. Um, we're stoked on our anchor track. We have 250 feet of all chain road out and our 45 pound mantis. Holding pretty good. Um, so yeah, now it's time to get into these vittles, and um, we're probably going to go to sleep as soon as the sun goes down. But yeah, it's been a breezy day out here, which is perfect for sea trials. That's, that's one of the reasons we came out when the wind was high, to kind of test everything out. Um, make sure things work, get it dialed in, you know. Time for food. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It helps us a lot. Thanks again to all of our patrons. Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time.